Welcome to our SAS diary for Son of Noor number 85. This week we decided to go a little bit more experimental again, starting with this fine model we're working on. Remember, you'll be able to pick from several playable characters, such as this guy or this lady. We have a new model, but it's without textures, and some of the animations also seem to be configured in a quirky way. <laughs> but I'm here to show you some new audio things. I think the screen overlay we have to indicate how much life you have left looks pretty cool, getting all dark and dusty, but the decrease in health was never reflected by the sound, which we now changed. Listen to the audio while your health drains. And you seem to magically turn into a woman when you die and grow hair, a great option you can now enable in the game's settings. The whole team is watching Let's Plays recently and people's streams as they play the closed beta of Son of Nor. This over here looks special. It's got a... Ah, oh, okay, I remember. This uh, right here is where we put the flame orb. Or it, this was what the thing looked like in the mirror room. This gives us incredible insight in what works and what is frustrating and where people don't know how to continue and we already started improving things. You'll see changes all over the place, including the wind temple. For example, when starting a puzzle, it indicates what is movable and what you should take a closer look at. Here in the mirror room as well. Bridges don't just disappear while you are still standing on them. So that if he does... Oh, sh**! The boss fight was adjusted too, so you don't end up in a stun lock. Overall, a lot of small changes that streamline the game experience. Talking about these things is like a social happening. We're all in a hangout, watching the Let's Plays, talking about improvements. It's a very hard and meticulous process and we're all super concentrated. For a long time now we really scratched the edges of what's possible in Unity. It seems Son of Nor is a bit big for it to handle. We came to a point where we no longer could play our own game without Unity throwing an out of memory error. So we started splitting levels up, as seen here, creating more digestible small chunks of Yan Chaza, for example, where we have one island, a second and a third one now. Beautiful again, stop looking at it! We tweaked the visuals of Yan Chaza further to make it look hot and jungly. And instead of seeing the other island, there's now a big sandstorm going on. Ah, scarabs! It seems nobody has really found the easy way we implemented to get rid of these buggers. It's the weakest enemy in the game, but Let's Players are quite afraid when they show up. They are the bringers of bad news. Well, We'll leave it up to you to find out how to kill them best. And for dessert today, there are new sounds I created for the Sarahul Mage. His solar flare and ray of light spells now send audio as well. Tell us what you think and join our forum at forum.sonofnor.com. And that's it for this week. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page or follow us on Twitter to stay up to date. All links are in the description below. See ya! Hee <laughs> hee!